just out walking the dog. It's getting pretty cold. So we go into, uh, well, nearly November now. I just got me thinking. I watched a few videos on some channels on YouTube, kind of saying that basically, if you haven't got a core message as a channel, is it is it pointless kind of creating content? I think it's fine just making content just for, just if you like editing or you like kind of documenting things, I think it's fine. <laughs> I don't think, I think she's possibly one of the most spoilt dogs in the world. She's almost not even a dog. Kind of like a mini, mini human. Or at least gets treated like one, 100%. Hello. 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 She might as well be a kangaroo. <laughs> I think you, I think you don't have to have a core message, whatever that kind of is, as long as you enjoy making the videos that you're making. So if you're making videos about veganism or whatever your cause might be, I think it's, uh, I think you should just crack on making videos like that. But I, I have seen a few more videos of people kind of uh, almost looking down on people who want to edit and you know put a bit of effort into the videos on a like on on the editing side rather than strictly on like a message as such but yeah that's what i think but i'd like to know what you think whether you think if you if you've got a channel it has to be it has to have a message of some sort to kind of persuade people to a or to enlighten people for example Whereas I think I was enlightened by people like Jury Rider at the beginning when I first started watching them. But I think I found the more that I watched some of those channels, the more I was kind of put off in a way. I kind of got what I needed from it to kind of live a more like kind of better lifestyle. But I don't like it when people are too preachy. Do you know what I mean? People are quite like, if you don't do it my way, then I just don't see the point. I think if you want to do something, you should do it. And if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Anyway, enough about this <laughs> topic. Let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, yeah, it'd be good to see what you think, whether channels do need to have a message of some sort. Also, I'm walking behind Vicky because she doesn't want to be on the film on camera, uh, which is fair enough. But yeah, I'm still quite embarrassed. <laughs> so I, I like to just hang back and uh, and talk to you guys here. Actually, there's another question for you. People who, if you are a vlogger or you have got a YouTube channel, how do you find it with your partners and spouses and stuff if you're not so confident with creating your content and like filming stuff when they're around? How do you get around it? I'd like to know that. That would be very interesting to know. All right, now back to filming the dog. We're gonna see some pretty cool today, but so far, I've seen nothing cool, unfortunately. Oh, do you see that? That was a car doing a burnout. There we go. That's the cool thing that we hadn't seen all day. Just what I was looking for. Have you seen a car doing a burnout across a junction? Nah, have now. <laughs> The new M4 is possibly the greatest car. I think, aside from the uh, Maserati Gran Turismo, M4 gets it. I reckon M4 gets it. Add a caveat to that: the M4 is the best front-engined car 
I, I, th I, I think that's the best one. Rear wheel. Rear, rear wheel drive, front engined, because you can't really compare it to like an R8 or something, so. Isn't she literally the cutest dog in the world? Ever. Aren't you Wells? Aren't you cute? Aren't you cute? Aren't you cute? Come back, 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 come back. Uh, well that's it for today, thanks for watching, uh, if you like the video do slap a like on it and if you want to see more subscribe to the channel, cheers, bye!